Thursday, December 10th, two days from today, is the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther burning the papal bull and changing the world. You know that in 2017, he posted his 91 thesis. And then in 2020, the Pope made an order, is, is the bull, with his seal, saying Martin Luther has to recant about 40 of his theses, otherwise he will be excommunicated on December 11th, I believe. And, and so Martin Luther was faced with the dilemma. Do you want to get kicked out of the Catholic Church, which, which was, he never wanted to do that. But on the other hand, recanting would mean that you're violating your own conscience, which was guided by the word of God. So he made the famous statement, unless my conscience guided by the word of God convicts me, I cannot recant and I will not recant. So this gave birth to this idea, the laws, whether by a state or by a denomination, can be unjust, particularly when it violates a higher law, a moral law. And he changed the world, the Protestant church was birthed and the rest is history. My question to you is, what is it going to take for you to change your world? In Romans 12, 2, the Bible says, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. There is a special calling for you, but when will you come to know that? The Bible says, when you stop conforming to the pattern of this world, but be transformed. The word, Greek word is metamorphism. It's like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. When does that happen? When you renew your mind by the word of God, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. What is your calling? And he says God's will for you is good. It is to do something good and to meet a need. It is pleasing. It's in line with your desires and perfect for you in line with your assets. So your special calling, therefore, is to pursue your DNA and change your world and be happy in the process. You see, if your calling is in line with your deep down desires, you'll be motivated. That will make you happy. If your calling meets a major need in your world, you will feel good about what you do. That will make you happy. And if your calling utilizes your top assets, your abilities, you will be good at what you do and that will make you happy. So if you see this diagram here, these are needs in your world and your world can be, uh, your world can be, let me get this. Okay. So your world can be, say, your church. What are the needs in your church? Or it can be your workplace or your children's school. What are the needs there? Of course, you can't meet every need. right? But you intersect that with your desires. So some of these needs, you will have the desire to do something about. But within that, you look at your assets. What are you good at? So where is the best fit? Which of the need in your church or in your children's school or in your workplace that you have the desire and assets? And that is your special calling. Right? And when you identify this, and if everybody, for example, in your church identify their special calling, right? And 
another person, he identifies his special calling. See, God has arranged it in such a way then the needs in any organization that we are part of would be met and everybody will be happy in the process. So identify your DNA and take a bold step. You see in this hedgehog story, how this hedgehog identified that in this dangerous jungle, what it has going for it is his spike and it mastered its DNA how to protect itself using those spikes and fox with all its ideas couldn't beat it. Lion couldn't beat it. Leopard couldn't beat it. Elephant couldn't beat it. So you also, if you would identify your special calling and you boldly proclaim it, then what you're going to find is you will be so happy. And then what happens? you will find as you meet it, as you are faithful in your special calling, kind of like happened to Martin Luther, your assets increase, his connections increase. He was suddenly pushed. Your desires will increase. Then what happens to your special calling? Then your ministry increases, your space increases, right? And this is God's plan. And it is unfortunate that many of us are unwilling to take the bold step. So I encourage you, I challenge you, this December 10th, the 500th anniversary of one man identifying his special calling, though it was a very delicate moment from him, he took that bold step and he changed the world. Can I ask you, this December 10th, every fit member, would you identify your DNA in one of your worlds and take a bold step and change your world and be happy in the process? It also happens to be my birthday and I ask you for a birthday gift. You have heard enough in fit. Now move out and bring God glory and you be happy in the process. Thank you. So what we will do is we will meet a usual time 6.30 in Syracuse and, and then you would come and you would kind of burn your bull, if you will, to say, I'm putting the past behind. I'm by faith, I'm stepping in. I'm going to say that I'm writing this DNA teaching as a book. I've, I've held on to it for too many years. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to boldly step into a healing ministry and develop my assets and a world that is filled with sickness to be able to bring, because our Lord Jesus commanded to heal 